All right, hello. All right, good. Ask for I'm usually very organized. I don't know what's going on today. All right. It's a long weekend. You know, I, I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm here. I'm usually here. But if the car doesn't work, then I love isn't. the fact that you're with your yeah. son. Right? <laughs> it gets up a conversation. Me. 420. Yeah, okay, good. Let's start for 420. Yeah. <laughs> I love Little you, son. for kids. You know. <laughs> All right, so phones on um, vibrate. Mm -hmm. yeah. How was your life? Did you have a good time last night? Oh my god. <laughs> Billy Eilish was awesome. It was awesome. You had a good yeah. time. See, I can't see you in this, in this one right here. Let's see. There we go, darling. And here we go. You guys ready? Ronan, are you ready? All right. I'm going to play it at a 420 exactly in one minute, okay? All right. Here we go. Wave. There's Facebook Live, you guys. Hey, so like in like maybe 25 or something, I, 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 I can leave. What? What's it? In 25 or 30, can I walk out? With sure. Yeah, yeah. Because okay. um, sure. they can't see you here. So, oh, yeah. perfect. Yeah, you're good. Okay, thank you so much. I don't think they can see me either. Yeah, if they can see you here. This one. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm sure. This is just my backup one. How's it going, Los Angeles? This is your girl, Monique LeRae. Hey, you know what? It is a very beautiful day. It's a musical day today, and I'm so blessed to have two amazing, talented artists today. We're going to talk about startup in, in the music world, you know? I mean, we cover everything else on this show, right, guys? So, um, how are you guys doing today? Good. Thank you for your invitation. Yes, welcome. <laughs> Why don't you go ahead and tell everybody your name and who you are? Well, my name know. is Eminem Azada. And my name is Anaya Lovno. Oh my God. So this is like an international music situation right now. I mean, Emmett, tell the listeners and the viewers a little bit about yourself. We'll start with you. Okay, so I'm 22 years old. Uh, originally, I'm from Azerbaijan. It's located in Eastern Europe. Those who don't know where it is, it's right next to Russia, Georgia, Armenia. And um, currently, I live between Turkey here in Los Angeles I'm working on my new songs. Wow, that's wonderful. So can you give us like an idea of what that sounds like? Like what genre do you do? Okay, so I, I just actually told Anaya that, you know, I always did pop music, you know. But first of all, I started with classical music, with opera. Really? That's how I got my fame, you know, my audience and stuff. And I continue to do some pop music and stuff, but now I kind of wrote some R&B song and I can't believe I wrote that song and I showed it to my manager. and. He said it's totally unique yeah. and you know it's relatable because it's real whatever i write i try to give examples from my life and um yeah i'm so excited we're working on it currently but like the whole production team and we're kind of so excited well we're super excited to see you embark you. on that and speaking of r&b and hip-hop and i tell us a little bit about you hey guys well i am 20 <sighs> <laughs> 20 something. 20 something, you know? Mm -hmm. um, I do R&B, hip hop, R&B pop, anything really with R&B in it. But my new single, uh, Secure in the Bag, featuring Chanel West Coast and the Ying Yang Twins. What? It's actually okay. a different turn for me because normally I do like love songs. Yeah. So this one's more like I'm in my bag, you know? Yeah. Boss, boss lady, stepping out, new year, new me, new okay. journeys. So I, I hope that everyone likes it because it is definitely like t a different term for me sure. as far as what I normally put out as well. Well, congratulations on the Yin Yang Twins. That's freaking humongous. And yeah. Chanel West Coast, she's dope yes. as fuck. You know, I watched that show. I didn't even know she was a rapper until she just sits there and yeah, you know, it's not Not a lot of people know that, but her music is actually great. Yeah. I love it. And um, we're, we get to open up for the Yin Yang Twins on the Millennium Tour. Um, and I'm super excited because that you know that's pretty Ricky, yeah. that's Lloyd, Bow Wow, what amongst other people that have been in my playlist for a very long time. So that is so exciting. huge, you guys! I'm like, congratulations! That's a great way to start 2020. Right. Yeah. Maybe you two will get on a track together. Okay. I'm, I'm uh -huh. like that. I mean, uh -huh. you know, I mean, the international sensation over here. That's a snap. That's what's up. <laughs> That's snap. what's up. <laughs> well, you know, this show is called The Startup, so let's just get down to the nitty-gritty, okay? So the listeners and the viewers out there who are entrepreneurs, and part of their entrepreneurship might be music, do you, what are your... Um, seeds of advice for somebody that's out there really hungry for it and just getting started. Would you guys give up, you know, give us some seeds of advice. Um, my advice is to never give up. 
it, it you will get told no a lot of times before you get that one yes and it is worth it every dream for me i feel like is worth it to chase it and my favorite scripture i always tell my fans this if you have faith the size of a mustard seed you can move mountains and that means anything that you dream you think you vision you speak into the universe it is more so hap likely to happen for you because you being positive about it yeah and as an artist it's a lot of times we get discouraged we care about what other people think what they may not like what they do like and it's very important to have self-love because that's what's going to keep you going so just just keep going don't give up you, you'll get there i love that i love it what Such about you well actually yeah. um yesterday um I was at the concert. I was at Billie Eilish concert. And, How was that? Uh, she was She's like, pretty dope. Oh my god! I I don't have an explanation. I can't clarify she, it. I understand. She's pretty dope. Uh, she's amazing. But she gave me such an inspiration from an artistic vision. Um, anybody who is artistic, I'm very conservative about artists. Mm -hmm. Like if an artist is artistic and has unique ideas that he can be somebody. Yeah. But if his ideas are not unique, it's a copy past, then I'm sorry. You yeah. have to you have to be real, you know, you have yeah. to be real. After that realness, if you believe in yourself, if you have that confidence, then you're just gonna continue. It's so interesting that you asked this question because this morning I actually wrote one thing on my Instagram. I said, I have lots of ideas in my brain, lots of plans. I dream nonstop. I never stop dreaming. When I have a goal, I focus on a goal itself. I don't focus on issues during achieving these goals. I love that. It's completely different stuff, you know? Yeah. Some people put goals and they kind of think, oh, there should be this problem, you know. To fix it. Yeah, to right. fix it, whatever. Right. I don't, I don't focus on problems. I focus on that point. On the solution. I think yeah. that's what you were saying too about yeah. putting visualizing it into the universe. Yeah. Of course, confidence. Mm, what you speak is what you receive. Exactly, key words. And I, I am a very testimony to that. I there's been plenty of times I said I'm going to meet this person. I'm going to meet them. I'm going to meet them. And then like two, three weeks, maybe even a year later, I meet them, and I'm like, I, it's happened to me. It happens to me all the time. And every time that it comes to pass makes me even more believe that okay more I, confident I keep, in your in your uh, universe yeah i mean this is like i got you guys i've been telling you about abraham hicks fuck with abraham hicks she's the bomb it's like a <laughs> it's like an energy thing and that's exactly what you want to do let's get down to the brass tacks of it though you guys because like you know for people like me who can't sing a lick i mean i can hum in the shower like nobody's business oh my god uh, okay but like as far as um you know starting in the business and getting paid because you know with what was it um, Napster that kind of started yeah. the whole streaming thing yeah. you know Sean Fanning and now we can stream music and you can make money online at TuneCore and things yeah, like this sure. how do you how do you do it if you're out there and you've got some great music and some content and you don't know how to get a deal how okay. can you put yourself up so um, can I start? Yeah, go ahead. Okay, <laughs> so the streaming services are pretty tough. You know, you never you never expect what audience will like. Like you can you can see something completely different for the next week on number one hot billboard, you know? Yeah. It it can change, like the genre can change. So yeah. I wouldn't say there is a trend. Yeah, there was some trend of Latino, uh, you know, beats, you know, some sounds. And Reggaeton? Stuff. Yeah, uh, alternative pop and this kind of stuff, but that's it. There are, uh, that's it. I, I don't believe that there is a trend. It always changes. So I think those who are like trying to get achieving something, they have to focus on their streamings. Yeah, what do you, I mean, how do you, you have a deal though, right? You have a deal? Yeah, I'm a major record Both label yeah. connected, yeah. But what I'm talking about, I, well, I wasn't an indie artist last till last year. Right. But um, so if you want to get more streamings, I would say the only way is just sharing it everywhere. Yeah. Like, sh sharing literally, your copies, yeah. you are sharing it everywhere. And, you know, if it's a good thing, they just kind of pass to each other. Okay. Oh, just take. So, for example, I found a new artist. She had like 5,000 uh, monthly listeners on Spotify. Wow. She's literally no one, excuse me, my language. <laughs> but I like the song, and I said, my friend, I said, look at the song, look at the production. I like it. Yeah. And who is she? Yeah. And I started following her. 
Really? And because I like her. Yeah. That's how it works. If the material is good, you automatically follow. Yeah. Um, well, for me, I have done free things, free shows, free radio interviews. Everything that I've done has not always been about the money. Sometimes it's about the opportunity. Mm-hmm. And knowing that I've, I used to live in Atlanta for four years. Hot Atlanta? Yes. I started doing you know, <laughs> promo. I joined promo teams. I stepped out. At, I made sure that I was at every thing that I needed to be at. You, you, you know, Eventbrite always has something going on. Oh, the artists. I'm on there. You know, yeah. And it's like, <laughs> if you were, you got to make sure that you're at the right place at the right times. And I think it'll fall in place because somebody told me this. They said, it's not about who know who you know or what you know it's about who knows you yeah so i'm big on every time i meet somebody i speak i say hi you did Hello. you guys both did on thursday and when then, i met you and then before i leave i say bye because they remember you that way Smart. When, it, when it comes to streams i've learned if you build relationship with people it doesn't matter how big they are how small mm-hmm. they are mm-hmm. that support will come yeah as long as you just continue to put yourself out there as an artist as a person personality is everything you can't go somewhere and not humble yourself you know that's the quickest way for somebody like you know i i don't like her or i don't mm-hmm. want to do business or you yeah. know it's, it's a shun so your personality your drive will definitely get you further than you know oh well let me put this you know this uh what is it tiktok video up and i make mean it go i viral. can't keep up with tiktok right? or, or the snapchat or snap, snapchat but snapchat snap, snapchat <laughs> tiktok we're not on we're, this is a dot uh, radio oh show i can curse on here right but, oh but what i do know is <laughs> you also have to appeal to your better nature if this is what's going on in this generation, TikTok videos and yeah. trailer videos, and that's how artists are getting their music out and getting heard because this new generation, that is what they're on. Yeah. Then you also got to appeal to your better nature. You got to it's be true. It's what's trending. going on. Yeah. It's true. It's, it's, it's not always about copying someone, but it's also making sure you're up to date with what's going on. Do you do TikTok like, videos? I do. I try to, you know, think about it. Is. <laughs> I try Can well. anyone explain to I the what the hell challenge. a TikTok is? Morning. I've been on TikTok I've and I've got talked. I don't get <laughs> it. I, I've, done, I've done TikTok. I've done Dub Smash. I've done Triller videos. What's a Dub Smash? So I, I dub don't know smash, that one. Dub Smash is, is the same thing. It used to be back when I was in college. Years ago, it was popping. Okay. Yeah. And then it stopped getting popping because then Triller and stuff. So all you do is like something that... Let's say Beyonce say something, and okay. it's just her voice. Mm-hmm. Oh. You record yourself saying exactly voice what she over. said. Yeah, oh, but yeah. in a creative way. Yeah. And then you post it, it goes whatever. She gave an a great it. explanation in a creative way. Yeah, like, way some crazy yeah. stuff, but she I've said seen it in that on my YouTube, way. though. I've yeah. seen commercials for that when people are singing them. Can we do one? I want to do one. Yeah, for example, do, do you know Naomi Campbell, the yeah, model? Of course. So I love the way she said, you want what I have. Oh. And I say that everywhere. You want what I have. <laughs> yeah, yeah. If you do that same thing on like Dub Smash or Trailer Video and you say it in a creative way, yeah. I love this new generation who actually got time on their hands yeah. to be on this phone for 24 but, hours. But, you know, I'm glad you brought that up, you guys. And this is what I want to tell you guys, the listeners and the viewers of the startup. Stop knocking the hustle on the phone. Stop yeah. saying millennials, this and that on the phone. You guys, here's why. People make money on their phones, okay? Mm-hmm. We're talking about startup businesses here. Mm-hmm. I make a lot of my, I make it on the phone, on emails, on, co- you know, commerce is there. So these kids aren't ignoring you or not when you're talking and they're, they're trying to get the bag. Mm-hmm. I mean, would you guys agree with that? Yeah, yeah okay. absolutely. That's right. It's a business. You get food on the phone. You can find love. I got two phones too. Yeah. Yeah, you can get a ride. You can get I, a job. I, I, you can I, get I, paid I, on PayPal. I mean, okay. you're on the phone to get the bag. I've right? been on, you know, them dating apps. I, That's are you about. mumbling, by the way? Let's side note. I, what, what is mumbling? What is I, mumbling? You get like bees in your hive or something, and you get stung. I'm on Bumble. Oh, oh well, I, 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 <laughs> I get, I got I'm bees on, in my hive. Right. I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be okay. You're gonna be you're beautiful, please. You're both but of see, you. you know the thing about that dating app stuff is you, you meet somebody, you think, oh, okay, I like Tinder, yeah, and, oh, and then you meet a person, that's the it's like next. That's the DTF like, that app, is. isn't it? That's the DTF yeah. app, yeah. Mm-hmm. All right, let me get this train back on track because you guys are really fun. We can get off on another subject, but this is the startup, so we have to bring it back to business. So, speaking of what you're just saying with you know, TikTok and you're building out your content and going on YouTube and everything, streaming, what about? 
the starting of it, right? So like, what does it look like? What does somebody need financially to start? Let's say they have a badass voice, they got 5,000 followers, they got great um, original material. What do they need to really get out there and start marketing themselves that, in the music? That's business? actually where I'm at in my life. Girl, you're already a star. I can, I can already see. see. I be trying. I be trying, you know. You got an um, agent and stuff. <laughs> but it, it wasn't always that way. You sure. know, I worked as a Hooter girl for a very long time. I love Hooters. I, right? You know, they got good wings. Yes. So I was investing in myself. Mm -hmm. And at the time, I didn't have a manager, but I had everything else. I had the hairstylist, the makeup, the dancers. I was working double shifts just to be able to pay for my team. Yeah. And as you come professionally, somebody's going to see that, okay, she got her whole team together. Yeah. She's doing this on her own. Let me invest in her because she already knows how to hustle and get herself together That's without great. me. Yeah. Eventually, you do. I have gone through management, management, management. Everything that you sign or every person that says, hey, I want to invest in you, doesn't mean that that's going to happen that way, you know? Yeah. So when it comes to financially, either you're going to come across somebody who has big money enough to want to invest in you, or you're going to have to take your own money and invest in you. Yeah, I mean, was that the case for you? Did you have to work two shifts at the um, house? So, well. <laughs> uh, I bet you were, I made you made a lot of money. I have a little bit, little bit of completely different uh, understanding about this. Yeah, the sugar daddy? What happened? No. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, I need one. I know, we all need one. Oh, okay, let me talk about it. Tell us. So I think any creative artist is the creator, is the beginning of the new page. Mm -hmm. So if I hire someone, yeah. I have, for example, right now, three publicists from all around the planet, in America, in Turkey, in uh, Russia, in Azerbaijan, and um, I have agents, I have producers, I have those people who does things for me. That's great. But would they dare to do something that I don't know? they do something right after my words right you know right. i control because yeah. i am the source you know of the income i'm just not only income of the creative mind yeah i am the one who create things okay you know i create the lyrics i create the song i create the idea i create the whole planet and they <laughs> promote the planet <laughs> i you love know? that and they uh, they promote the planet okay so in my case the person, first of all, should work on himself. Mm -hmm. I was work. I just graduated from music academy. Congratulations! My I bachelor. Know. Thank you. And um, I was working nonstop. My piano classes, songwriting classes, harmony classes, and stuff. And right now, yeah. I feel like I don't know anything. My brain is zero. You know why? Because I want to continue studying all this songwriting process, production process. That's smart, though. Stuff. You're never done learning. You know who who so gives smart. me inspiration about this? Yeah. Kanye West. Oh. It is so good about learning and creating new planets. He definitely, definitely uh, recreates himself, doesn't he? Guys? Yeah, yes, he, he, he does. does. He, he does with the sound. He's talented. I mean, hey. He created the sounds that we never heard. Yeah. human being like Billy Eilish for example well Billy Eilish's brother is producer but still nice team right mm, yeah I'm mm -hmm. talking about pop culture here but still you know that's that's the way I think I think an artist a unique artist is he is the one who creates everything I love that well you guys I think you're giving someone the blueprint like in, that, that person out there that's trying to uh to, to be like you if I may say something as a female artist, uh -huh. it's, it's a little bit different from male artists. Okay. But the grind still has to be the same. Yeah. Like I said, the startup does start with you. Image is everything. Yeah. Is what I've come to know. Work ethic? Yeah. Work ethic, your image. You have to carry yourself like you're that person, you know, but with humbleness. Sure. You know, make sure you're still humble. but Confidence not, is sexy, right. guys. Confidence sells. It, every, image is everything. How you look, how you dress, how you carry yourself, exactly. the people that you carry around you. Like, when I step out, I have certain girls that I'll call and say, hey, you know, come with me to this event because I know that they know how to carry themselves in that manner to where it's not going to, you know, anything bad is not going to happen. Right, then it's a good look on you. Yeah, and then <laughs> I have those girls who when it's time to turn up, I have those certain girls. Yeah. You know, so you are sadly judged by the company that you keep around you. Yeah. So the top as you go is going to get lonelier and lonelier. People are going to fall off. You cannot take everybody with you. Yeah. So you cannot 
feel or let anybody else make you feel that because at one point in your life they did this, this, and that, that doesn't mean that they're going to get the same blessing that God is about to give you. So investing in yourself, mm -hmm. carrying yourself the way you know you need to be because that's the only way people are going to take you serious. Love yeah. that. I love that. Yeah. And you're thinking about your future brand, which just yeah. brings me to a really good point. You know, when you're posting ass photos and titty photos, listen, that's fun. We can go to the strip club and turn up. I love that. <laughs> but when but it comes to a lady, when it comes to business, business and your brand, and you've got a conservative partner, define conservative these days, but you know what I'm saying? Like yeah. a partner that's, you know, not for that. I like that you're saying, think about who's around you, think about what your next move is. Because they're always watching. Okay, I like even that. When, even when you think no one's watching, they're watching. Yeah. And I do know that because I woke up to my publicist. <laughs> uh -oh. I posted something on my story. And she waits, hey, you, that's the work, right? You're taking it down, right? I was like, yeah. <laughs> you know, oh my let's God. make sure we don't I had this. the same problem. Don't do that. Okay, did that. Talk in the mic, baby. We want to hear I voice. had the same problem. <laughs> what, you got? You turned up one night and you what you put? I put something awful. Like, uh -oh. it was like a porn. Oh, you did. So you did porn. No. And then you posted it. No, I just did a mirror look. I mean, I just did a mirror look. Okay. And I didn't have I mean, underwear, but you couldn't see my that zone. And I uploaded this picture. In 10 minutes, okay. five, five newspapers texted my publicist. What? Working. She's like, are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> are you even alive? And then I'm like, Speak into the devil. Where am I? Like, what, yeah. what is my brain? What am I doing? But am you have to forgive yourself, right? You're young, yeah. you're still learning, mm -hmm. and you want to give them something to talk about. You know, I be trying to make sure my booty look good. <laughs> I make mean, sure I got yeah. my angles. But, uh, angles are You right. know, it's okay. all about the type of picture that you take. I can make sure my angles and my booty look good in a picture, but in more significant, you know, like sophisticated, yeah. classy way. I always think about Beyonce. Cause she's oh, she's graceful, she's her. sexy, she's classy. I mean, she even thug nasty sometimes. Uh, it's yeah. good to be thug nasty. I know, right? I love it. Get good. Love get a little thug thugs. He's yeah. porn nasty. You know, yeah, okay. put him in a box. Like, look You're at not me. Doing look it. at me. I look like an angel, but I'm America like needs to keep it bad. real, though. We like sex. Sex okay. sales. Yeah. It's a multi-million billion sex dollar industry fine. for a reason. So everybody needs to calm down. Hey, I mean, that's also again appealing to your better nature. Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. And know your know yourself, right? Like, know your boundaries, know what your brand's going to look like in five, ten years. Oh, like, Can you guys hold the phone for a minute? I have a caller from Texas, and he's kind of awesome, and it's about baby bottles. Just hang in there with me for a minute. I have a gift for you, but just hang in for a minute. Um, Alex, is that you, darling? <laughs> Hello. Hello. Okay, we got Nina, Nina and Alex from Texas. Nina. Nina and Alex. Tell them who you're calling from. What's the name of your brand? Mm -hmm. Ew, I got some family out there in Texas now. Hey! Are you still living in Texas? Yeah, me too. Austin. All my exes are in Texas. Dallas. <laughs> <laughs> well, thanks for calling in, you guys. We have two. Well, that's right. <laughs> We have two amazing uh, musicians in the in the building, but I'm gonna take a little left because it is the startup, and we talk about all brands here. Tell us about your baby bottle for those people who need a baby bottle. Okay. <laughs> You're welcome. You got a minute and a half, so do it. Okay. Listen to this. This is a really interesting thing. Yeah. Okay. Right. Kind of like this. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
Wow. So just for the listeners, let me streamline this for the listeners. In case you have a nephew, a niece, a, a child, a grandbaby, this baby bottle saves babies' lives. This gentleman who has the baby and this young lady just created inventions that have saved a lot of babies' lives. They okay. usually drown in their milk. If oh. they don't, if the parent gives them the bottle and they don't prop it properly, they can drown. Is that right, you guys? Wow. That's humongous. We love it. Well, thank you so much for calling in. I can't wait to see you guys on Shark Tank and everywhere else. I know you're going to absolutely blow up. And when I have a baby, when I find a baby father, I'm going to have a baby. No, I would like to have a boyfriend. And I will use your baby bottle when I have a baby very soon. So give us your plugs. Where can we find you and where can we buy this bottle? You better don't miss that, girl. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much, you guys. That is amazing. And just watch this, too. These, these two, this dynamic duo, are doing things. And we really appreciate ba Hands Off Baby Bottle calling in. You guys you guys know somebody in your life that's having a baby, right? Yeah. Should, should, we, send, should yeah. we send a bottle? My little sister has kids. My little brother has kids. I do not have kids. Well, that's not yet. But or I would definitely love to still promote your, your product because... There's always somebody that's getting ready to have a baby. That's what I'm saying. I mean, I have a lot of pattern followers. Why not? Yeah. Okay, good. So we'll get you guys two bottles. Okay. And then you can do what you want to do with it um, as a gift. So I wanted to say, because I know you guys have to move and shake. It is Sunday fun day. It's a little gloomy today outside, right? Oh my God, yeah. So, a little, so let's just get all your handles and your upcoming shows and upcoming projects out of the way and get that out to the listeners. So why don't you start, love? Okay, so, you know, if. It's Grammy week. Yes. Grammy coming up. I'm so excited. I'm finally attending this year. And uh, uh, besides that, I'm currently working with Stevie Mackey, you know, wow. very famous vocal coach. He's That's doing huge. vocal coaching of Jennifer Lopez and stuff. We're working with Joey, you know, his manager of Janet Jackson. So wow. Cool. wow. Um, working on my new R&B song. You know what? It's called My Crush Cheated On Me. What? Can we get a little ooh yeah? Is... Oh, my crush cheated on me. My crush will be trying to win me back. Wow. Yeah. We can all relate yeah. to that. Okay. Yeah. Everybody had a crush. And you know what I meant by that? What? So I had a crush, obviously. And I was like, oh my God, I own her, her so much. That I say my crush cheated on me. You know, yeah. she was like with somebody, we're not even together. In but your mind, in heart. my mind and yeah. my heart, I own her yeah. that I call her a crush. I love no. that. How about you, love? What you got coming up? I know it is Grammy Week. Oh, Jesus. Projects. Um, and besides the amazing tour, by the well, way. Well, since we keeping it real, keeping it all the way real. I'm actually, started. tomorrow is my surgery. Oh. Um, no. I'm getting my chi -chis. Oh, okay. good. It's a positive yeah. That's a positive surgery. All right, Facebook right. Live. You see the before. Oh, yeah. We're looking at the they're, before. We're going to get some photos. That getting my little chi -chis a little bit bigger. Congratulations. Okay. So Congratulations. I'm be out, but my publicist has me booked for things already. There's going to be more Everybody keeps telling me, like, you're going to be... You can't move. You don't want to be the how you're gonna make it to the. Oh, like, you're I am going to make it. Well, to talk to your friends that have had the titties done. Because I, have, I hear that you're laid up. I, yeah, mean, they, I would they know, tell but... me the same thing. Like you're not going anywhere. Yeah. But in my head, like right, you can do I it. I gotta suck it up. 
Okay. Yeah, I gotta be there. Yeah. Um, and besides that, um, getting ready to shoot my new video for securing the bag. I'm getting involved with a lot of charities. One that has to do with foster care. Beautiful. Foster wow. kids um, and giving back. That's where my heart is right now. And I do believe that as you grow as an artist and God blesses you with more opportunities, always use those things to be able to give back and, and help others. Yeah, because, pay it forward for sure. Yeah, because look, he blesses you 10 times more when you are a selfless person. I love that. Mm -hmm. Well, so now where can everyone find you on social media and the web and anywhere? Okay, so I'm very active on Instagram. <laughs> Love Instagram, and I just do everything on Instagram. So it's Eminem and Zada. I'm gonna spell it E M I N Z A D A. I'm gonna spell it again E M I N E M I N Z A D A. You can find me on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, and Spotify. Woo! All right, you guys. My name is Anaya Love Notes. That's A N A Y A Love Notes. And one more time, it's Anaya Love Note, A N A Y A Love Note, and you can you just type it in Google, Instagram, Spotify, whatever. I I don't say this to be cocky. I say it because it's easier. If you just put my name in on Google, all the like social media and stuff like that will pop up. Yeah, because it's called it's, an algorithm. Yeah, it's it's just a lot easier to do that, that way. So yeah. yeah, that's where you can find. Oh, yeah. And my new single drops in three days. Wow. Congratulations. What's well, it called? What's it called? What's it called? What day? Called Secure in the Bag. That's yes. what you said. Okay, I didn't know if that was the name of the album. That's the name of the, su the single. That is that. It is actually dropping. Wait, it's today. Today is the 19th. 19th. It drops on the 20th, 24th. Okay, oh, the 20th. Friday? Yes. Friday music night. I am okay. super excited. New music Friday. New it. music Friday. Okay, can we get a little sample? You on the spot? You get your vocal cords Just all right? The Just the yeah. I'm secure, I'm bad, yeah, 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 yeah. I'm bad, yeah, 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 yeah. Ooh, oh, nice. I, I got the chills, you guys. There's a lot of talent in the room. That. Why the hell am I in here? <laughs> My talent lies in other places, right? Yes. I mean, I can't sing, guys. Listen, I've got a little present from you from Bali. Now, we're going to get you a present real soon. This is a gal's line. That's why this is going to this young lady. But one of my one of my um, brand partners saw your picture on Instagram and knew she would be you would be in the studio with me tonight. And this comes all the way from Bali. Wow. If you could oh open up God. open it up on the all camera the for me. All the way from Bali. Her name is Lota and this is archery jewelry. It's inside. It's in the bag. This is for strength, courage, power. Um, to be fearless, and it's a rose oh gold Oh my god, that's ring. so beautiful. We're, look at, we're twins, oh, but I have silver. I, you know, it has a special oh meaning, actually. You know what it is? Of course. This what is, is it? Wait, I have to put this. It has a special meaning. To, to find your way. Yeah. So give a shout out to Archery Jewelry. She spells it the Swedish way with the two L's or whatnot, mm -hmm. but she's a brand partner of mine, so give Archery Jewelry a lot of love, and we're going to see what we can do about you. I think maybe we could get a keychain to you can or I something. Oh my god. It, it came, I got a gift today, guys, and it came from where? Bali. Bali. Bali? Ah! Archery jewelry, baby. <laughs> Archery jewelry. <laughs> Thank you so much. I, I'm just grateful that you even saw my page, and I will be wearing this everywhere because I like jewelry. So. And she wants Thank you to have you. courage and, and all that. Oh, wow. Oh this God, is amazing. So Thank fun. you so much. Oh, my gosh. So, listen, you guys, we have a couple of things I just want to plug. I know that we got started a little late today. Um, but I have something, the project that, can you guys hang out for another 10 minutes yeah, or do you have to yeah. be somewhere? Okay. So a project that's really close to my heart and I hope that you guys, if you have a $5, $10, 15 bucks, $2.50, whatever you've got, go and find my link. It's on, um, it's on, where is it on? I don't know. It's on Facebook, but we've got it. There's Justice for Jackie. Justice, the number four Jackie. Yes. It's about the young lady that was shot and killed by the Tacoma police. As you guys know, I'm a producer, and this is my first documentary uh, short film that I'm trying to do. I have the blessing of the tribe and the family to tell this young lady's story. She was pregnant and unarmed, and she was killed, and we're going to tell her story, and we're going to get justice for Jackie. And the family turned her pain into the first law in the U.S. that commands... Uh, the police and law enforcement to de-escalate, and yes. that's 940. So the family took their pain, and they, they're helping all of us. So justice for Jackie is justice for all, because we all have been pulled over before yes. and have been scared, heart pounding out of our chest. It's a, it's a subject that touches everyone, not just yeah. black people. I mean, they, they get us a lot, but it's for everyone. So right. let's um, look into that, and it's on, I believe, on my Facebook, Monique 
Loray, M-O-N-I-Q-U-E-L-O-R-E. It's short for my middle name, Loray. So it's Monique Loray. And then on Instagram, I'm Monique Loray Stinson. And um, yeah, just type in, even in the Google search, you can find Justice, the number four Jackie. And we've got a little... Um, a little uh, fundraiser going for that. Oh, wow. Yes, oh, wow. I would love to donate and, yeah. and, and be a part of that. Thank you. I will donate. It's, Thanks, guys. It's yeah, the fundraiser. Bad. Yeah, the fun, yeah, it's getting bad, but we're going to keep it light and bright. And one other thing, I've got my girlfriend, Lynn Curtin, from the Real Housewives of Orange County. She's doing a Valentine Rewind with me and some of her friends. Okay. And that's the day after Valentine's Day for us single folks, us oh, entrepreneurs. Okay. We're going to rewind it, and it's a hey. new we're not gonna, <laughs> So if you didn't have a date on Valentine's Day, hey. you're not going to have a date on Valentine's Day. Come network, get this bag, see oh, some brands goodness. like Archery Jewelry that will be there, and a lot of great wine from Michael Solberg Family Wines. She's mm -hmm. one of my sponsors, and she's out of uh, Napa, and she does a second-generation red wine blend. Okay. And um, you guys like Chardonnay? What do you guys like? I, I don't drink. Right. Wow, I love wine. Okay, I good. have such a French soul. I, I just started trying one. Yeah. It was like, what do you think? Make some juice. Okay, good. Yes, yeah, so, because you got to develop a palate for it. <sighs> but wine is like a whole other thing, you know? It's, yeah, it's like an wine. art. Yeah, it's, it's not necessarily alcohol. Right. You can do it in moderation, but we'll, maybe we'll get you some samples. But you guys, check out Michael Solberg Family Wines. You can find that on michaelsolbergfamilywines.com. She's going to be featured at the Oscars Gifting Suite, and that's on February 7th here in Hollywood. Are you guys coming to the Gifting Suite? You know, I got a, a big old bag of goodies. I'm well, I, I'm just now hearing about this, but I'm about to. <laughs> we got to get I'm you guys out. I'm going to fly to Europe, honey. Oh, darling. Yeah. Are you going to Paris Fashion Week or something? No. <laughs> I, I need got... it, darling. <laughs> Bonjour. Bonjour. I was in Bordeaux last summer. Oh my god. We'll talk about that. I don't know nothing that they say. <laughs> I speak five languages. I know you do. You're like a super guy. Yeah. You guys, <laughs> let's do a little. Era. All right, we've got seven minutes left, but we'll kill it quick. Why don't you guys, I'm going to put you on the spot. Are you good on the spot? Okay. Can you do a little collaboration on the spot? Right now? I feel like you guys could. Uh, so let's, let's get a little okay. beat. You want to get a little beat? Uh, They're gonna figure I mean, it out. He, he talks about his, about his ex a lot, and okay. and my exes are mad that I'm securing my bag. So yes, always secure the bag. I guess we can we can do a collab with exes. You know what? X, 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 X. I was planning to future someone on that song. My crush did it on me, and with my managers and stuff, we're like. Who's gonna sing the second verse? Who's gonna send the second? Let's look. This and could be the audition. I, I wanted someone. You know, it's an R and B, and she's R and B singer. Well, here you go. There's and reason. you know what? You know. We need hip hop there. This is happening right here in real time, everybody. On okay. the startup, we're starting up. The Making song. a history. So what do we need? A beat? We need a beat, don't we? Need a beat. I don't have a beat. So you said your ex cheated on you. Mm-hmm. Okay. Let's see. Um. Ooh yeah. No, my my ex, my crush cheated on me. Your crush cheated. Okay. I thought I was in love with you, yeah. I thought you had my back, boo, hey. But then you turn around and went and got somebody who's not even on my level now. My crush cheated. He oh. broke my heart in two, yeah. My crush cheated on me. My crush cheated on me. My crush cheated on me. My crush will be trying to win me back. Wow, that is talent, you guys. That is the startup for the music division, okay? Yeah. But if that's not a startup right there, I don't know mm -hmm. what it is. Stay tuned. Yes, yeah, stay tuned, you guys. So um, I'm so glad you were able to make it. Tell us about, you know, like your intentions for 2020. I don't like to say New Year's resolutions. I like to say intentions because you're intending to do things. Tell us what your, the last four minutes, you get to, you get to. Tell us your intentions for this year. Okay. Oh my God. I actually expect a lot and I'm going to make a big change this year. It's very risky, but uh, it's, it's about my career. Um... I don't want to talk about it right now, what exactly, what I'm going to yeah, do, don't because it it's very exclusive, like, right. uh, but it's going to be something very big, and I will have a big comeback. Will you come back and tell us about it here on LA Talk Radio? Why not? I would love it. You're going to bring us, you know, some visuals, maybe oh a poster or something? Yeah, why Sign not? Sign a poster. I'm going to post it. Uh, yeah, why not? Oh my gosh, I should have been one. What about you, love? What's your intention for 2020? 
my intentions for 2020 is more personal. Sure. Um, I am learning to let go of my past. Good. So I can have a better future. Also, not letting you know people affect my energy. Right. Yeah. So I have been on this whole. Yeah, I've known you for two years, but we haven't talked in a year. So mm -hmm. you know. Yeah. One of those things. I just want to make sure that I'm prepared mentally, emotionally, and spiritually for all the things that is coming up for me. You know. That's smart. So I want to get myself in that headspace, and mentally, I'm out of. Six. Good. Because okay. I say six because it is hard letting people go that you've known. And that doesn't mean that you don't love them or, you, you know, you've changed. It's just, like I said, you just can't take everybody with you. Some may hate it. Some may understand. But I need to prepare myself for for what's about to happen. A wise, a wise young lady and, and gentleman. I mean, you guys, I love that you're hitting on this. And for me, the intention is quite the same as an entrepreneur. You're welcome, my love. It's true. You, there's some people that are in your journey for a reason, a season, a lifetime, as they say, mm -hmm. and it's not personal. Sometimes it's just, I've grown, I'm going this yeah. way, and you're going that way, and I still yeah. love you from here. I have family members that I had to let go last year, mm -hmm. but it doesn't mean I don't love you, but yeah. I'm going in a different direction. And as an entrepreneur starting up, you're gonna make mistakes, you're not gonna get it right every yeah. time, right. but if you own it and you move forward and you forgive yourself. Yeah, yeah. Golden you'll, you'll have, you'll know who you can take and who you have to leave behind. You'll know it. It's not something you'll have to think about. It'll be something you just know. Yeah. It's an energy thing, right? Oh my it God, is. Monique, thank you so much for this opportunity. Oh, thank you so much for yes. dealing with and my... And I later, Monique. <laughs> thank you I so much. It. I, I loved it. it. Thank you so I much. Speaking of which, yes. whenever you get a chance, I would love to talk to you about Black Girl Magic. Because Let's talk oh about Black Girl's Magic. Speaking it of the is. devil. <laughs> <laughs> there was some magic right here. There was some it international is. magic. Aww. And I, I enjoyed you today. I, enjoyed I learned a lot of things from you today. And I'm going I to learned a lot of things from tonight. you today. Isn't that funny? We were all at the same thing on Thursday, but you left and I met both of you and we're doing this today. You are right? amazing. You're amazing. You're so, you organize that, that like is that. A goal bitch yeah. Hey, you gotta just make it happen, guys. And so, you guys, you know, I'm gonna always ask you at the end of the show what will you start up today? Have a beautiful week. Start your week off right. It's my birthday on Tuesday, you guys. Oh, my God. Thank let's you. Let's go to Vegas. <laughs> I know. Let's go to Vegas. I'll be 42 on Thursday, Tuesday. Excuse me. See, look, it's starting already. <laughs> what will you start up to get today, you guys? And I'll see you next weekend from Tacoma, Washington, from the Justice for Jackie fundraiser. Love you. I love you guys. Bye. Thank you so much for streaming. Bye-bye. Yay. Let's do a quick selfie, yeah? Okay. So I actually am... Going, I'm leaving here. I have to go meet with Khalifa and like a few hours. Uh, like, it's my friend's birthday, and what is like turning out? Like, you guys want to take?